How to avoid overwhelm. Hi, my friends. Hope you are doing great. It's Jen. Let's talk about four ideas for you to put in practice to avoid being overwhelmed. Overwhelm means come from the time that you have so many obligations, so many projects that you feel like you cannot handle all of these projects. So that's why the first idea for you is to stop saying yes to everything, everyone. You only want to say yes to things that really matter to your life, really matter to your goals, really matter to your people that matter to you. You don't need to say yes to everything, everyone, because the chances that you're gonna say I apologize later on gonna be high when you say yes to everything, everyone. You want to evaluate each opportunity before you wanna commit. When you see late. The things to focus on, and the second idea for you to avoid overwhelm is to take control of every single day. So I would like you to wake up in the morning and gonna tell yourself, what am I focusing on today? So I'm gonna focusing on three main goals for today, and I'm gonna knock down all of these goals. Make sure that this goal really move you towards your mission in life, and with that, you. The victor of your day. You're not the victim. Like I have to do that. You say I wanna do that, and I wanna knock them down. And you put in your calendar. You know that what you're gonna do it, and when you're gonna do it, and then you gain the momentum. You gain that ownership of your day, ownership of your life. And the next idea for you is to relax between different major tasks. For example, today you have writing. And you have like a speaking. You really want to have breaking moment between the two major task. Uh, if you go into write one page, after that, give yourself ten minutes break. Uh, either meditation, either a nap. If you're a nap person, I normally take a nap by like ten or fifteen minutes. I train myself, and I feel so vibrant after that. Uh, probably you not familiar with taking a nap for a short time. You can meditate, or you can just go for a walk. Uh, maybe just maybe even like just go for talking with somebody to just, just have that breaking moment. And then now before you enter the next task, you're gonna tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna again focus and put all of my effort and my energy and my heart on it. So you always have that kind of. Breaking moment to set up your mind and your intention before you doing any major things, and then with that, the fourth idea for you is to have a bit reflection in the end of the week and in the end of the day. You wanna give yourself around thirty minutes every single day to reflect and to catch up with all the things that you have not solved yet, and maybe plan the next day. Like I really like to plan my next day at the end of the day, and also to look back what else I need to catch up tomorrow if I cannot finish today. And if you do that, when you wake up in the morning, you feel like, oh, I know what I'm gonna do, and you feel like really, really have the ownership of your day and ownership of your life. And at the end of the week, you can just go to a coffee shop, no phone, no laptop, pen and paper, pen and journal. Write down what you have done and what else you can catch up with, or what else you can do for the next week. If you keep doing that, if you create that new habits for you, or if you have been doing it, keep doing it. Focus on the things that really matter to your life, and you will non-stop taking action, non-stop loving, living, and giving every moment of life. And I love you, and I see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching, my friends. Hope you enjoy the videos, and don't forget to put all the tools and techniques into practice to advance your life. And share with us what are your tips, and make sure that you subscribe to the channel to support the channel. And then I can share with you more tools and techniques in the next videos. And make sure you download this guide, one page or cheaper. The tool that help you to plan your day, take control of your day, increase your productivity, and make sure you grab my book and stop loving, living, and giving every single moment of life. Beautiful stories about my sibling, and also the goal achiever, the ultimate nine steps for you to achieve any personal goal, particularly scholarship, and also unleash your passion. How can you free your mind 
free your thoughts, free your fear, free your doubts, free your limiting belief to live with passion, with energy, with vibrant, with full potential every single moment of life. I see you in the next videos. Don't forget to non-stop living meaningfully, loving openly, and giving joyfully every moment of life.